Okay, we got a 2019 uh, Ram 1500. Uh, he originally we wanted to do a shock sensor add-on to the uh, to the uh, if, it ha if, if it would have had a factory alarm system, but in this particular case, this particular model. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second. This particular model did not have uh, factory uh, uh, door locks. Basically, a lot of them with the cloth seats don't come with the factory alarm. The way to test it out is to lower the driver's window, close the door. You're gonna hit lock on the remote control clock, okay? Give it like a minute, and then you're gonna stick your hand and just pull the lever and open the door. If the horn, horn starts honking, and then you do have a factory alarm, and then we can add the shock sensor to it. If it does not, it's not the end of the world. We will have to install an aftermarket alarm. And in this case, we went ahead and installed the Clifford 30, uh, 3105. Uh, we went ahead and uh, gave him the door locks too as well. So when he owns the alarm, it locks your doors. When you turn off the alarm, unlocks your doors. It's got the antenna on the top to give you the long range that you can arm and disarm. It's going to have the blue light right there. It's going to flash at night that the, the truck has an alarm. I'm going to go ahead and arm it. And then you got panic button. If you hold this button for three seconds, you can fire the alarm off. We gave them uh, two sirens, if you're wondering why it has a lot of different sounds, because a lot of times we have a lot of extra sirens when we do uh, horn honking uh, instead of the siren. Uh, we keep those sirens for when we do an alarm. We always give it for, uh, to the customer for free to give them an extra one. That way it's nice and loud. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and bang in the window, and that will fire off the alarm. Uh, I don't know if you can see the blue light against the glass, but it's there. It's flashing at night time it will light up the truck a lot nicer on blue. I'm gonna go ahead and pound on the window. Fire off the alarm. And then we'll turn off the alarm. Uh, it's got a override switch so in case the remote control doesn't work and you can't turn off the alarm you're gonna just you're gonna use the factory one, hit unlock, and then you're gonna open turn to put the key uh, put the push start to run, you know. Since it has push starts, not key turn, put it to run and then just tap the little button on the bottom and that will disable the alarm uh, in case uh, you break the remote control. And by the way, it comes with another one, but most probably you'll have it at the house. The batteries are these little round batteries. I think, I believe it's uh, 2035 or two, uh, two of 2018. I've never taken the time out to open it to really look inside. Uh, but yeah, those are the ones that uh, they're gonna be, you know, you can tell by the circular room here that has uh, What you do is you take a knife and you separate the housing. It's not like a bunch of screws that is you got to go through a puzzle Re You very user-friendly just use like a quarter just pop this open separate the housing and replace the battery They did a real nice job on the remote control too. It feels like a little domino chip real slick and, and thin Okay uh, this alarm was installed here in Miami, Florida by Auto Alarm Specialist on this 2019 Dodge Ram. And we thank you for watching this video.